News 10. Good morning. <laughs> All right. 6.37 is the time. Now, if you're one of those who has a hard time waking up in the morning, you like to hit that snooze button over and over, and you're late to work a little more often than you'd like, the solution to your problem could be as simple as a pill. News 10's Kate Larson is live in downtown Sacramento with a look at what they're calling wake up on time pill. You got one in your hand there, Kate. It's just this little guy, Kiba, and uh, sleeping in the snooze button kind of describes my life. That's my story. And uh, when I heard about this pill, the wake up on time pill, it's basically a delayed release cap, uh, capsule. I was stoked. I tried it last night, though. I took it at 6:45, and essentially, in theory, it's supposed to kick in about six to eight hours later. Our producer just asked me how I'm feeling right now. I feel the same exhaustion I do every day, but that doesn't mean it won't work for you. And I spoke to the owner of the company yesterday on Skype. She's back east, and she invented this pill because she is exhausted all the time. She's a single mom, had a hard time getting up. She had a lot of friends and family who were feeling the same way. So she's on to something, or she could be any. Anyway, it's the only product of its kind, and um, it's really been picking up and getting popular in the last year. And no matter what I did, I would set three alarm clocks around my room, and I would either sleep right through them or hit the snooze button and go right back to sleep. Um, I had a friend who was in danger of losing her job because she overslept all the time. I have a cousin who almost didn't graduate from college because she slept through her first class every day. All of Kathy's pills that she makes with her company, Rise and Shine, are natural herbal ingredients. So the active ingredient in this is guarana seed extract. That has the caffeine inside of it. It is about $30 for a bottle this size with 40 capsules. The serving size is between one and two pills. I did speak to a doctor who said it's probably safe to take one or two of these a day, but any more could put you at risk, particularly if you're a diabetic, have high blood pressure. So you really should consult your physician before taking any of these herbal supplements even though they are natural. Live in Sacramento, Kate Larson, News 10. Time now is 6.30. It's really been...